Welcome to Art Goes to School of the Delaware Valley, making fine art accessible to elementary school students since 1962. Today's painting will be Les Pistards, The Racers, from 1967. Artist Antoine Dumas, Oil on Canvas, from a private collection. Our lesson plan today will focus on the style of art, pointillism, elements of art, color and shape, principles of design, contrast and movement, and composition. Let's meet the artist of Les Pistard, Antoine Dumas. Born in Quebec City, Canada in 1932, he's French-Canadian. He's a former student and teacher at École de Beaux-Arts in Quebec. He was influenced by the abstract expressionists during the 1950s, such as Willem de Kooning, Mark Rothko, and Lee Krasner. He's a commercial graphic artist for brochures, book covers, stamps, menus, posters, and greeting cards. His realistic style is used to express everyday life simply and clearly. Subjects are chosen from life situations that everyone can understand often with conflicting emotions shown in the painting. In his words, painting will always play an important role in society because of our need to surround ourselves with familiar and beautiful objects. Abstract Expressionism and Antoine Dumas So what is Abstract Expressionism? It's a style of art that originated in New York in the 1940s and 50s. It emphasized emotional expression and spontaneous creativity. Here we see works by Willem de Kooning, Mark Rothko, and Lee Krasner to the left of your screen, compared with works by Antoine Dumas. Look for large canvases. The focus of abstract expressionism is on capturing emotions and feelings through color and shape rather than what the subject actually looks like. Look for canvases that are painted all over. Every inch of the canvas is important, not just the center. The painting goes right to the edges of the canvas. Also, vivid colors and quick bold strokes were often used to exaggerate emotions and feelings. Here we see some of Antoine Dumas' works. His experience as a graphic artist has taught him the importance of conveying the message faithfully, whether in advertising or in art. This direct approach is evident in his painting, where his realistic style allows him to express his vision of everyday life clearly and spontaneously. And now let's talk about Les Pistards, The Racers from 1967, oil on canvas, 24 inches by 30 inches, currently held in a private collection. The artist uses pointillist touches with thick dabs of color to convey the excitement of the scene. Antoine Dumas was inspired for Les Pistards based on modified stock car racing. Stock car racing involved purpose-built cars racing against each other on oval, dirt tracks. First established in the United States after World War II, this type of racing was characterized by its participants' modification of regular passenger cars in pursuit of higher speeds. I've included a link that you can watch a video of a real 1960s stock car race. Let's talk about elements of art. Color. Grays, beiges, browns, and blacks stand out against the complementary colors of pinks and greens. Complementary colors are across from each other on the color wheel, making each color in turn more vibrant. Shape. The men's postures are exaggerated to show emotion. The man facing us is sitting down looking tired but patient. His hands and his feet are too large. The standing man has his back to us as he watches the race with his hand on his hip. How do you think he feels based on his pose? Shapes are formed by the use of color, not by lines. Most of the shapes are organic or free-formed. 
but there are a few geometric shapes such as round wheels. What other geometric shapes do you see? Now let's explore principles of design. Contrast. Dark saturated colors are used to depict the men's leather clothing, showing their strength and toughness. The soft, harmonious colors of pinks and greens give the dark colors more impact. The men are actually the first objects you notice in the painting. Another principle of design we need to explore is movement. Everything in the foreground or in the front is completely still. The men and the car seem to be out of the race, waiting for someone to come and repair their car. The three cars in the background are moving at great speed, or are they? Nothing in the painting gives you an impression of movement. It's almost as if the scene is captured for a fraction of a second during the race, similar to a stop-action photograph where everything seems to be frozen in time. Look at the black and white photograph to the right of the screen. Let's look at the style or the technique that Dumas used to create his painting. Pointillism. A technique of painting in which small distinct dots of color are applied in patterns to form an image. Georges Seurat and Paul Signat developed the technique in 1886, moving from Impressionism. Antoine Dumas used pointillism to create Le Pistard. Do you see the dots of color? Try this. Compare and contrast the two paintings on the side. How are they the same? How are they different? Here we see Georges Seurat Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jatte. I included a close-up view on the bottom left of your screen. Every artist, before he begins a painting, thinks about composition. Let's cut our painting in half. What do you see? Dumas placed two people in the foreground and two cars in the background, one pink and one gray, on the left side of the painting. On the right, Dumas placed one large pink car in the foreground and one gray car in the background. Why did the artist organize the objects and people in the painting this way? Composition is the arrangement of visual elements. It's often used to describe the overall design of a painting. A well-composed painting will invite the viewer and help communicate the artist's story. The visual elements used in this painting are line. It helps your eyes to move around the artwork. Shape, geometric or organic. Texture the roughness or smoothness of the appearance of the images, color, the different hues, tone, the depth of a color, space, the space taken up by objects, positive, or in between objects, negative, depth, distance from the viewer, broken down into foreground, background, and middle ground. So let's think about it. How did the artist use the visual elements in Le Pistard? How would the story of the painting change if you could only see one side of the painting and not the other? So now that you had an opportunity to learn about our painting for today, let's test your knowledge. Please feel free to pause your screen and answer the following questions. I provided the answer key at the bottom of the frame. However, don't cheat. Take a look at the answers to see how many you've scored correctly. The following are a variety of discussion questions and fun activities to help extend your lesson plan. Feel free to pause the slide. This educational program has been brought to you by Art Goes to School of Delaware Valley. Art Goes to School of Delaware Valley is a nonprofit volunteer organization. Check out our website 
at www.artgoestoschool.org for more information about our program and how you can become a member today. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed watching.